what's going on guys and welcome back so we found something pretty insane um, this was the same day as the last video where we found the um, little Omnicord yeah the Suzuki Omnicord thing for 700 bucks or it was worth seven six seven hundred bucks and we were just we, going to lunch yeah we were going to lunch out somewhere pretty far away from where we live it's about a 30 minute drive we go here pretty rarely honestly I mean we go like three four times a year maybe it's worth the drive though definitely worth it so but we saw a yard sale sign we drove way out into the boonies um and found a yard sale ton of stuff um we weren't really that optimistic it was we've been to this one before yeah, we've been to it yeah one time before it's been a while back and it's kind of dirty yeah we didn't really find much so but lo and behold <clears throat> we looked onto one of the tables um kind of looking at some stuff i'd grabbed like a little figurine that i thought might be worth a little bit of money and it's not but you'll see it and then uh it's not. i looked one item up and it was worth about 40 bucks and i was like oh, okay well you know i'm just gonna grab the whole table so i asked him i was like i was like how much for the entire table and she said 100 bucks and i said cool and so and she's fine luna's over there eating something so and so we're gonna go over exactly what all we got guys on the score and it's definitely the biggest score that we've ever had uh who knows if we'll ever have another score like this Hopefully. how long it'll be <laughs> so uh yeah we're gonna go over that right now all right guys so here's what we found literally crazy i'm gonna start with the item that i did look up i believe it was this yes it was this one right here is that phone. your phone okay <laughs> it's a 24-hour dial time switch sells for about forty dollars so after i looked up that item i saw all the other stuff i bought stuff like this before electronics and their new new old stock so they're brand new still sealed but they don't make them anymore so anytime you see this kind of stuff typically there's a little bit of value so the second piece was this one i did not look this up but it was another one like this so i assumed 40 and 40 is probably what these are worth this one actually is worth about $250. <laughs> it's an Intermatic, another one, um, model ET1725C. So that was pretty crazy. But then I found all this Simon, Siemens, Siemens. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. So you can see it there. There are three of each of these in each bubble wrapped package. And there's 16 total bubble wrapped packages. And it's these little dent amplifiers, 400 amp. I don't know what they're for. So <clears throat> these sell individually for about, there's one listed right now for 50, but they have sold individually for $40 a piece. So that's about $2,000 worth of those right there just by itself. All right guys, so these Dent 400 amp, whatever they are, I was actually looking at a sold listing for used ones um, and they had sold for $40 best offer accepted. I actually found new ones that had sold straight from Dent themselves for $70 for a quantity of one. There are four in the picture. It was a little confusing, but I actually went to their website and was able to find it. Um, so if these end up being worth $70, then there's 48 of them total. So it could be around $3,000-ish, I'm guessing, or closer to... 3500 I'm trying to math in my head right now. Yeah, around $3,500, a little less than $3,500 worth of just these here. So absolutely crazy, guys. That could push the total for this to six, dollars $7,000. So uh, yeah, definitely a wild find. And it's raining. That's why I'm walking all over the place here. I also picked up, <clears throat> this was the first thing I picked up at the sale. And um, it was just a little, a little toy thing. It's a spawn figure. I looked at the bottom of it and it was from 1996 McFarland Toys. I figured maybe it had some value. It's literally worth like $10, guys. There's nothing there. So, um, the next thing are these. These are the same thing, Siemens Digital Energy Meters. The last one of these, open box, I believe it was, sold for $400. These are brand new and we have two of them. So, let's just say around another thousand bucks there. Then we found these. These are like um, circuit boards, I guess, by the same brand. And these sell for, these are tough. There's a few listed. Um, they're listed for around $300 a piece. We have three of them. 
I'm gonna guess maybe we can get $100 a piece for these. So that's another 300 bucks. This sights control humidity sensor station. I did find one of these that it sold for, I think 300, around 300 something dollars. This one is brand new, that was open box. So I'm gonna guess three to 400 bucks for this. <clears throat> Couldn't find much on this. It's the EMS controller though. And I believe that that's gonna be another two to $300 this item here this is an automation station i did find this exact one had sold recently for 500 dollars, and that one was used i haven't checked this one this one i mean it's going to be sold as used um but it's probably new open box because most everything else here is is brand new so <laughs> we also found this networked metering system MD48 HD. I couldn't find this exact one, but I found um, similar ones selling anywhere between $600 and $1,000. This one, I'm going to guess, is probably on the lower end of that range, but, you know, still $600. If, if it's worth that, then awesome. So, uh, again, everything here, I totaled everything up, and it was just over $5,000 on $100 spent. So, crazy score guys definitely our best find ever um Other again than that. well <laughs> again the just looked up one thing had no idea what any of it was worth bought this stuff before took a chance for 100 bucks and well okay, no. there you go so sorry I just... yeah, you're good. all right guys so that's our crazy score um hope you guys enjoyed this Again, we didn't have our camera on us. Unfortunately, of course, the time we're gonna find something insane, we don't have our camera on us. Uh, just going to launch it. And again, th this was at 1.30 in the afternoon, guys, that we found this. 1.30 in the afternoon. So do not give up. Never give up on yard and sales. look up things that don't look worth yeah. looking up. Yeah, because some of this <laughs> stuff's dirty and it looks like junk. I mean, I wouldn't have looked it up, but I don't know anything about that kind of stuff he does. But this is this is some good stuff, guys. This, this stuff will sell and it's it's probably gonna take a year to sell i'm gonna be honest it'll probably take a whole year she'll get it listed it's gonna take a year to sell all this stuff but we had a score last year similar to this where we bought i bought some old um servers they were just like network servers and you know i work in it that's that's my my full-time job and so i just do not give up it, you you can find stuff at you know one o'clock you know 12 o'clock 11 o'clock all the way up into three o'clock. You know, we found stuff really late in the day. So yeah, don't give up on, it's on yard super sales. Random stuff too. Yep, always super random that no one else thinks to look up. Look stuff up guys. If you see new old stock, definitely look it up because you might end up with a score like this and you might end up making about $5,000. So yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. We appreciate everything. Um, you know, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe. Yeah, and appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video.